to me, I think that there are some of those things that like you look at the colors, you look at those things and there's like an, an excitement around it to me. Um, you know, when you see a really good it piece. It brings out emotion. Correct. Not yeah. necessarily that it's, this is a representation of joy or this is a representation of anger or whatever, but it's, wow, look at that. That is so cool. Like, like it just is yeah. a positive, it, it brings out positive feelings. An emotional reaction. Right. I yeah, mean, there's I one in particular where it's like a, it's a sphere and a cube all at the same time. And that, to me, is just like Victor Vasserly at his best. And I love that work. And it's like, and I think that sometimes students will say of me as a teacher, well, you make us draw landscapes. You make us draw objective things. You make us draw portraits. You make us draw animals. You make us, like, I have students work from photographs. I have them work from their phone. I have them use technology as an artist would in today's artistic world, uh, embedding some of those technologies into how they work because that's how modern artists work. At the same time, I tell them, you know, don't get too abstract, don't get too blah, 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 because doing really, really good abstraction is really, really good tough and there's a reason that Mondrian didn't start with Broadway boogie woogie there's a reason that Mondrian started painting windmills and portraits and through evolution he finally at the end of his career at the end of his life gets to Broadway boogie woogie he gets to victory boogie woogie the last painting that he was to work on, that's him at his peak, where um, you don't start there, you end up there. And just the same as Victor Vasserly doesn't start with those really wild, jaw-dropping optical illusions. He starts by making zebras and abstracting the zebras and the stripes and doing these black and white patterns and finally getting there. There's a reason that uh, so many artists and I can, you know, we can go from from Bridget Riley all the way through, you know, the, the whole litany of them. But the fact of the matter is that they don't start becoming great abstraction artists until they're really able to master the basics.